Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 14. Now it came to pass upon a day that Yonathan, the son of Shaul, said unto the young man that bore his armor, Come, and let us go over to the Pelashitim's garrison that is on the other side. But he told not his father. And Shaul tarried in the uttermost part of Giva, under a pomegranate tree, which is in Migran. And the people that were with him were about six hundred men. And Ahiyahu, the son of Ahituf, Lai Kavod's brother, the son of Pinachach, the son of Eli, Yahuwah's priest in Shiloh, wearing an ephod. And the people knew not that Yonathan was gone. And between the passages by which Yonathan sought to go over unto the Pelashitim's garrison, there was a sharp rock on the one side and a sharp rock on the other side. And the name of the one was Botsets, and the name of the other, Chene. The forefront of the one was situate northward over against Mikmash, and the other southward over against Giva. And Yonathan said to the young man that bore his armor, Come, and let us go over unto the garrison of these uncircumcised it may be that Yahuwah will work for us, for there is no restraint to Yahuwah to save by many or by few. And his armor-bearer said unto him, Do all that is in your heart. Turn you. Behold, I am with you according to your heart. Then said Yonathan, Behold, we will pass over unto these men, and we will discover ourselves unto them. If they say thus unto us, Tarry until we come to you, then we will stand still in our place and will not go up unto them. But if they say thus, Come up unto us, then we will go up, for Yahuwah has delivered them into our hand, and this shall be a sign unto us. And both of them discovered themselves unto the garrison of the Pelashitim. And the Pelashitim said, Behold, the Ivrim come forth out of the holes where they had hid themselves. And the men of the garrison answered Eth Yonathan and Eth his armor bearer and said, Come up to us and we will show you a thing. And Yonathan said unto his armor bearer, Come up after me. For Yahuwah has delivered them into the hand of Yashara'el. And Yonathan climbed up upon his hands and upon his feet, and his armor-bearer after him. And they fell before Yonathan, and his armor-bearer slew after him. And that first slaughter which Yonathan and his armor-bearer made was about twenty men within as it were, a half acre of land, which a yoke of oxen might plow. And there was trembling in the host, in the field, and among all the people. The garrison and the spoilers, they also trembled, and the earth quaked. So it was a very great trembling. And the watchmen of Shaul in Giva of Binyamin looked, and behold, the multitude melted away, and they went on, beating down one another. Then said Shaul unto the people that were with him, Number now, and see who is gone from us. And when they had numbered, behold, Yonathan and his armor-bearer were not there. And Shaul said unto Ahiyahu, Bring hither the ark of Elohim. For the ark of Elohim was at that time with the children of Yashara'el. And it came to pass, while Shaul talked unto the priest, that the noise that was in the host of the Pelashitim 
went on and increased. And Shaul said unto the priest, Withdraw your hand. And Shaul and all the people that were with him assembled themselves, and they came to the battle. And behold, every man's sword was against his fellow, and there was a very great discomfiture. Moreover, the Ivrim that were with the Palashitim before that time, which went up with them into the camp from the country round about, even they also turned to be with Yashara'el, that were with Sha'al and Yanathan. Likewise, all the men of Yashara'el, which had hid themselves in Mount Ephraim, when they heard that the Peleshitim fled, even they also followed hard after them in the battle. So, Yahuwah saved Eth Yashara'el that day, and the battle passed over unto Eth Beth Aven. And the men of Yashara'el were distressed that day, for Shaul had adjured Eth the people, saying, Cursed be the man that eats any food until evening, that I may be avenged on my enemies. So none of the people tasted any food, and all they of the land came to a wood, and there was honey upon the ground. And when the people were come into the wood, behold, the honey dropped, but no man put his hand to his mouth, for the people feared at the oath. But Jonathan heard not when his father charged at the people with the oath, wherefore he put forth at the end of the rod that was in his hand, and dipped it in a honeycomb, and put his hand to his mouth, and his eyes were enlightened. Then answered one of the people and said, Your father straightly charged eth the people with an oath, saying, Cursed be the man that eats any food this day. And the people were faint. Then said Yonathan, My father has troubled eth the land. See, I pray you, how my eyes have been enlightened, because I tasted a little of this honey. How much more! if haply the people had eaten freely today of the spoil of their enemies which they found. For had there not been now a much greater slaughter among the Peleshitim? And they smote the Peleshitim that day from Mikmash to Elan, and the people were very faint. And the people flew upon the spoil and took sheep and oxen and calves, and slew them on the ground, and the people did eat them with the blood. Then they told Shaul, saying, Behold, the people sin against Yahuwah, in that they eat with the blood. And he said, Ye have transgressed. Roll a great stone unto me this day. And Shaul said, Disperse yourselves among the people, and say unto them, Bring me hither here every man his ox, and every man his sheep, and slay them here, and eat. And sin not against Yahuwah in eating with the blood. And all the people brought every man his ox with him that night, and slew them there. And Shaul built an altar unto Yahuwah. The same was the first altar that he built unto Yahuwah. And Shaul said, Let us go down after the Peleshitim by night and spoil them until the morning light, and let us not leave a man of them. And they said, Do whatsoever seems good unto you. And then said the priest, Let us draw near hither unto Elohim. And Shaul asked counsel of Elohim, Shall I go down after the Peleshitim? Will you deliver them into the hand of Yashara'el? But he answered him not that day. And Shaul said, Draw ye near hither, all the chief of the people, and know and see wherein this sin has been this day. For as Yahuwah lives, which saves Eth Yashara'el, though it be in Yanathan my son, ye shall surely die. But there was not a man among all the people that answered him. 
Then said he unto all Yasharael, Be ye on one side, and I and Yonathan my son will be on the other side. And the people said unto El Shaul, Do what seems good unto you. Therefore Shaul said unto El Yahuwah, Elohai of Yasharael, Give a perfect lot. And Shaul and Yonathan were taken, but the people escaped. And Shaul said, Cast lots between me and Yonathan, my son. And Yonathan was taken. Then Shaul said to El Yonathan, Tell me what you have done. And Yonathan told him and said, I did but taste a little honey with the end of the rod that was in my hand. And lo, I must die. And Shaul answered, Elohim, do so, and more also, for you shall surely die, Yonathan. And the people said unto El Shaul, Shall Yonathan die, who has wrought this great Yeshua in Yashereel? Far be it. As Yahuwah lives, there shall not one hair of his head fall to the ground, for he has wrought with Elohim this day. So the people rescued Eth Yonathan, that he died not. Then Shaul went up from the following, rather from following the Peleshitim. And the Peleshitim went to their own place. So Shaul took the kingdom over Yashareel and fought against all his enemies on every side, against Moab and against the children of Ammon, and against Edom, and against the kings of Sava, and against the Peleshitim, and whithersoever he turned himself, he vexed them. And he gathered a host, and smote Eth the Amalekim, and delivered Eth Yashadael out of the hands of them that spoiled them. Now, the sons of Shaul were Yonathan, and Yishvi, and Malkishua, and the names of his two daughters were these. The names of the firstborn, Marav, and the name of the younger, Mikal. And the name of Shaul's woman was Achinoam, the daughter of Achimaatz. And the name of the captain of his host was Avner, the son of Ner, Shaul's uncle. And Kish was the father of Shaul, and Ner, the father of Avner, was the son of Aviel. And there was sore war against the Peleshitim all the days of Shaul. And when Shaul saw any strong man or any valiant man, he took him unto him.